Hello there, my lovelies, and welcome to another cooking video. Today I'm going to be showing you a really simple recipe for delicious yogurt fruit lollies. So I have these containers which you can make individual lollies or if you want to make it into more of an ice cream I guess you could put it in a Tupperware pot like this. Okay. So this is three ingredients. First is your fruit of your choice. I just happen to really love black forest fruits. So this is a 500 gram bag that I have defrosted. So it's got all its natural juices in. Next you're going to need yogurt. I am going with a 0% fat, just plain yogurt. This brand is pretty tasty on its own, you don't need to add anything but obviously it's up to you what flavour you would like to mix. And finally to add a little bit of sweetness to balance out the bitterness in some of the uh, berries, I'm going to use some honey. So I'm using honey rather than sugar because sugar can be very grainy and honey, especially if it's local honey, which unfortunately this isn't, but local honey is pretty good for you um, in terms of sweet things. So I'm going to grab my big bowl here and I'm going to empty my entire tub of yogurt. And this one is a super, super thick one, which makes it a little bit quicker for freezing. So just bear that in mind if you're using um, a flavoured yoghurt that is a little bit runnier in consistency. It may take longer to freeze, okay? So let's just scoop out all that goodness there. Really lovely. There we go. Okay, so pop that to one side. And next we're going to add our honey. So again, you can do a little or a lot. It's really to taste. Okay. So I like to do a good spoonful just to really break up that uh, bitter and sharpness. Okay, so I'm doing one and a half. That's a uh, teaspoon. Okay. So we'll just, again, put that to one side. Gonna give it a good mix. So our honey is incorporated into our yogurt. If you wanted it more sweet, I would suggest maybe a vanilla yogurt or a yogurt that already has honey mixed in because they are pretty sweet by themselves. But this should do the trick. Okay, next we're gonna put our berries in, and I have a mixture of cherries, raspberries, and black currants. Now, if you don't obviously like large chunks in your uh, lollies or ice creams, then I would suggest cutting them up as I am, or you could put them in a blender to smooth it out if you just prefer the taste and not the texture. That could be quite nice, more like a smoothie I guess. Okay, so I'm just cutting this up a bit. And the other reason I am doing this is because I will be giving these 
lollies, sorry, to my little boy and I don't want him coughing on large pieces of fruit so I tend to cut them up a little bit for him when I make his batch. So it looks a bit like an eaten mess at the moment, or some sort of creamy pud. <laughs> okay, and as you see, when I mix it in, all the juices from the berries are making it this really nice pinky colour. Obviously if you use mango or orange or something that is uh, more citrusy, then it will look obviously a bit different and you might have to put a bit more honey in to balance it out that sharpness, okay? Just give it a good mix, making sure everything is incorporated and all my fruit has some yogurt on it. Okay, just give it a good poke. That's it, okay? And just going to taste pretty good to me, um, but I am going to add a tiny, tiny bit more honey because it is still a little bit sharp. So just another dollop. Okay, mix that in. Okay, that's it. So it's gone this really nice, lovely berry colour. Now, once you're mixture all is entirely incorporated in, you're going to want to start to section out your mixture. So this is where your moulds or uh, your tubs come in handy. Okay, so I'm just going to try and get as much uh, even distribution of berries as I can. So it can be a little bit difficult when you've got them floating in material, or I should say, uh, food products like this, but we're going to give it a go, okay? So we're just scooping our mixture in, I'm trying to make sure I get uh, enough berries and a good helping of yoghurt in between. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to fill mine almost to the top. I am going to leave a tiny gap because it will overspill in my uh, moulds if I'm not careful. So I always leave about um, half a centimetre or so at the top just to make sure it doesn't spill over. And obviously before I put these in the freezer I will give them a clean up so that any residue yoghurt doesn't get stuck to the mould. <laughs> okay. So, a little tip with these moulds in particular, when you want to wiggle them out, I would suggest running the mould under lukewarm water for about 30 seconds, and that tends to loosen the mould um, so you can get your lolly out without it sort of falling apart. Okay, so let's just fill this end one up here. Again, making sure I get a good helping of berries in between all that yogurt. Okay, and one on the end here. I'm so tempted to put more in. <laughs> okay, might just take a little bit out a little bit generous with that one. <laughs> okay, and make sure I pop my lid on, nice and secure. There we go, nice and firmly. So, and now I'm going to give them a bit of a clean up, again, so they don't get stuck to the top. Now, I did two trial runs of these, and took a minimum of about five to six hours to become semi-solid. So these are actually the ones that I did and I left overnight in my freezer. 
so these would be good if you need to prep them for maybe a party uh, the next day even but this is how they come out <laughs> and I do have a little air bubble in that one so I didn't push the mixture down as far as I probably should have but they look pretty good to me and they do taste super yummy okay so again if you're using a mold like this I would just run it under water for a little bit just to loosen them up to get them out okay. but I hope you guys enjoyed this simple little video and I shall see you guys in my next one so enjoy and good night guys